Good morning, everyone. I hope you all are doing well this week. Um, we are getting ready to continue reading Thanksgiving in the Woods. So we're still having a Thanksgiving theme because it's getting closer. What are you most excited about Thanksgiving for? So I know last week I told you that I was really looking forward to some stuffing because I really like my mom's stuffing. Do you know what else I'm really looking forward to? watching the Macy's Day Parade. They've got new balloons. I'm very excited about it. So, before we get started, let's sing our hello song. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Alrighty. So, our story today is Thanksgiving in the Woods, and it's by Phyllis Alsder. That would be interesting. A Thanksgiving in the woods. Where do you normally host Thanksgiving? Do you normally host it in a house? Or do you get together somewhere like, um, I know sometimes we do holidays together with big groups of family at like maybe a hotel conference room or somewhere like that, a community room, something like that. When Fall winds blow cold and jack-o'-lanterns lose their smiles when branches lie bare and cornstalks rustle in the wind. That's when it's time for Thanksgiving in the woods. All the pretty leaves are changing. Days and days go by and I keep adding to the, my Thanksgiving pile. A tool belt and my favorite rocks, a rope, seashells, a flashlight, and brownie. Everything I'll need for Thanksgiving in the woods. I think brownie is the dog. One chilly morning, Mama wakes me early. Today's the day, she says. I stuff all of my treasures into a backpack. Mama gathers boots and winter coats. Daddy grabs his guitar and my recorder. Come on, he says, let's get to let's get going to Thanksgiving in the woods. Sounds exciting. We drive and drive and finally turn onto a curvy gravel road. That's when I see Grandpa standing next to his orange truck. He starts the engine and I climb into the cab. Time to get ready for Thanksgiving in the woods. This is exciting. We drive over rutted fields and down a slope to a clearing under trees that reach to the clouds. I see the cousins building a fort right next to the little stream, a perfect place for our own Thanksgiving in the woods. Well, that's a lot of fun. They're building a fort. What do you and your cousins like to do? Daddy and Grandpa unload long wooden planks for tables and bales of straw for us to sit on. Uncle Charlie makes a bonfire while neighbors hoist a tarp over branches. Everyone's rushing to get ready for Thanksgiving in the woods. Oh, so it's not just family. They've invited friends. Early the next morning, I'm one of the first ones to wake up. I can hardly wait for breakfast to be done. While grown-ups laugh and talk, kids pull on sweaters and boots. We want to get there for get there first for Thanksgiving in the woods. Some neighbors are already at the site. Here, help stack some kindling, Grandpa says. And we do, running whenever someone calls. We all need to help if we're going to have Thanksgiving in the woods. Soon a tractor comes over the hill. Grandma and Mama sit on the hay wagon, steadying a load of pots and covered pans, filled with turkeys and dressing, mashed potatoes, peas, and corns. Oh, now it's starting to smell like Thanksgiving in the woods. Can you smell that smell? It smells so good. Neighbors, relatives, and lots of people I don't even know cross the field to hollow, to the hollow under the hemlocks. They carry baskets and bags and boxes filled with apples and pickles and pies, every imaginable food to share for Thanksgiving in the, the woods. See all the folks that are coming? At one o'clock, Grandma rings her special bell. We form a huge circle and sing. Tis the gift to be simple. 
tis the gift to be free. People talk for a long time about being thankful. Brownie gets very hungry waiting until it's time to start Thanksgiving in the woods. Lines of people snake around the tables, filling plates with mounds of food. The cousins and I dart in and out, grabbing buns, turkey, and other treats we take to our fork. There, we'll have our own Thanksgiving in the woods. That looks like so much fun. So instead of a kid's table, they have a whole kid's fort. Grown-ups are playing fiddles, banjos, and drums, and singing songs that everyone knows. Soon Daddy joins in on his guitar, and I make a platoon of my own on my recorder. My way of celebrating Thanksgiving in the woods. We stand around the bonfire, warming up on both sides. Grandma passes out marshmallows, and I take two roasty, toasty, and brown. One of my favorite parts about Thanksgiving in the woods. When everyone's had enough turkey and potatoes and pumpkin pie, people start packing up their gear. In groups of two or three, they walk back to the farmyard, bringing an end to Thanksgiving in the woods. Daddy puts me on his shoulders, and we walk with Mama and Grandma along a candlelit path through the woods. I pull Brownie close to keep him warm and happy that he came along for Thanksgiving in the woods. Back at the bonfire, I can hear a banjo and someone singing. Tis the gift to be simple, tis the gift to be free. Tis the gift to come down where we ought to be. Now that's a perfect ending, Grandma says as we walk in the dusk. A perfect ending to Thanksgiving in the woods. And then they have the song right here. So with this song, if you guys want to sing it with me, we will learn it. First phrase is, tis the gift to be simple, tis the gift to be free. So. Let's sing that part. Tis the gift to be simple, tis the gift to be free. Let's do it one more time. Tis the gift to be simple, tis the gift to be free. The next part is, tis the gift to come down where you ought to be. Tis the gift to come down where you ought to be. Now for this next phrase. And when you find yourself in the place just right, twill be in the valley of love and delight. So our next phrase is to turn, turn will be our delight, till turning, turning, we come round right. To turn, turn, will be our delight, till by turning, turning, we come round right. So let's sing it all together. Tis the gift to be simple, tis the gift to be free, tis the gift to come down where you ought to be. And when you find yourself in the place just right, twill be in the valley of love and delight. When true simplicity is gained, to bow and to bend we shan't be ashamed to turn turn will be our delight till by turning turning we come round right i hope you guys had a good time reading thanksgiving in the woods and singing a song with me I hope you'll join me for story time tomorrow or you'll be back for Toddler Tales next Tuesday. All right. Bye, guys.